Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Master Pages in Adobe InDesign. Master Pages are like a background that can be quickly applied to all your pages. Changes made to the master apply to all associated pages in the document. Masters are most commonly used for repeating items such as logos, page numbers, headers, and footers. For this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create master page numbers for your document. However, the same technique can be used for any master objects you may want. Let's dive right into Adobe InDesign. I'm working in CS6, and I have already set up a document with four pages for this example. If you do not already have the Pages window open, you will need to go up to your menu bar and click Window, Pages. If you have it open like I do, it'll have this check mark right here, so no need to click it again. Over in the top right corner of my screen, you will see my Pages window. Now you may have noticed there is a couple pages titled A, Master, with two little page icons to the right. Because my document was set up with facing pages, there are two page icons here, left and right. You may only have a single page icon, and that's fine, as long as you have your A, Master. Now let's double click the Master Pages icon to open the Master Pages. These are your master pages. You can work on them like any other page in your document. Let's start out with a basic page number, the biggest time saver and one of my favorite features in master pages. We'll start out by grabbing the frame rectangle tool and drawing a frame down in the bottom left hand corner. It doesn't need to be perfect at this point. Then we're going to grab the text tool, click in the frame and type page and a space. Then we are going to go up to the menu bar and click Type, Insert Special Character, Markers, Current Page Number. You will notice it didn't add a number here, it added the letter A. That's because this is the master, so don't worry about that. On your actual pages in the document, you'll later see that they are with real numbers, <laughs> numbered 1 through 4. I'm just going to quickly adjust the font size and the font so we can see this a little better here for the sake of the tutorial. And I'm going to adjust my frame just so it fits a little nicer. And you'll want to make sure that when you're adjusting your frames for page numbers that you allow enough room for double or triple digits depending on your document size. Now since I want page numbers on both pages, left and right facing pages, I'm going to copy this over to the right side by just holding down Alt and dragging it into the corner. I'm going to click the text tool and align the text to the right instead of the left. And now we have page numbers on both pages. Now let's take a look. Back in your pages menu, let's click page two and three. Here you'll see your page numbers are there. Page two, page three. You'll see the page numbers are correct. You can also see page four, page one, everything looks great. Now, let's say I'm going to just draw a box here real quick. So we know that this is page four. It's got the blue box on it. Let's say you want to reorder your pages and you decide that the content that's on page four you really want on page three. So instead of having to go through and renumber all your pages, here's where the beauty of master pages come in. We can just take page four from the pages window and drag it up between page two and three. And now page four is page three. Page three is now page four. You'll notice the page number automatically adjusted to the right side to be page three, page four. Same thing happened there. It is important to know that master objects appear in your document pages with a dotted border. If we zoom in, you'll see there's a slightly dotted border around the edge of this item frame. So you can't highlight it or click it, nothing will happen, it's pretty much locked. These master objects cannot be selected unless the master item is overwritten, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. To edit or remove master objects document wide, you'll want to return to the A master by double clicking the master icon in the pages menu and making your changes there. To override a master object, it's pretty simple. While selecting the object, hold down Control and Shift. 
you'll see now that the dotted border has disappeared and has changed to a solid. Now you can edit this specific instance or even delete it. It's completely up to you. One of the great things about this is perhaps you're doing a catalog and this page of the spread has a full lead photo on it. And you don't want a page number mucking up your photo, so you can just delete it. And deleting that page number will have no effect on the other pages throughout the document. This same technique we use to make master page numbers, you can also use for graphics such as logos, background images, anything you'd like repeated on every page of your document. Thank you for watching, and please check out our other videos at skybraystudio.com or on our YouTube channel.